<laughs> so we mailed five packages earlier. And where are we going now, guys? We're gonna go to the zoo. So we're gonna check some things out. And grab some lunch, not the water park. And then uh, maybe go home, grab some lunch. And then we'll work on some more eBay tonight, right? All right. Never been to the Columbus Zoo. There's a water park over there. Can we go to it? Not today. And there's the entrance up here. There she is. Columbus Zoo. So we have a zoo pass. You can come as much as you want, leave whenever, come back. Random Saturday, and you got a million people here. All right, so we bypassed the whole line. We got our card, moved right in. Now we're going to see the polar bears. This and then we're probably going to go to the petting zoo. Daddy, where's the music? This way? Yeah. 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 Didn't it go in the airplane? Fenway. Fen, come. How how do you know? Fenway, come here. How do you know? How do you, how do you know what time it is? You always know what time it is. Is it? Is it? Is it? Fenway, is it time for dinner? How do you know it's five o'clock? That it's time for dinner, huh? Huh? Speak. Do, do you want to go eat? How, how does he know it's dinner time? We're back from the zoo. Uh, I got back a little late, probably about 4.30, and I think I screwed up my kids' naps. So we'll see if they go to bed at midnight tonight or their usual bedtime. But nice weather today, so but it's a nice day out. So we're just soaking it all in. So uh, to close out the day today, Saturday, um, well, I had only one sale. And it was early when I was sleeping. But it was these uh, 90, 950 BTs. These are Bluetooth. Pretty much brand new. Um, I've had good success with these. I believe liquidation on their manifest said these were about $200. I sold them for best offer of $65. Bucks. Uh, that's what they go for. I believe I sold them for, I sold a blue pair a while back for close to 100 but I don't know if the market just became flooded with them, time of year, I don't know. So, but in addition to the shipping, I ship every day of the week. Uh, what I will do is ship these tonight and drop them off tomorrow. Now with eBay, what happens is you have the ability, if you sell stuff on the weekends, and anybody correct me if I'm wrong, but my listing says with one day handling, uh, I have to ship by Monday. So uh, to get good ratings and to help people out, I ship as soon as I ship the next day. And I box it up the next day or that day if I get it before I go to bed. Um, but the thing with these is, another tip, is these are over a pound. And based on the shape and the size of the box, uh, if you've seen my other videos, you see the regional lay box. You have two types of boxes. You have this long, thin one, like this, and then you have a long, uh, kind of more rectangular, but uh, slimmer, but higher. Same thing, same rate. You can use both, uh, but for
for this shape of this box, I use, you know, for example, I mean, if you could see, it just barely, and that's hard based on the camera, but it just barely fits. So what you can do with these is you can pop them open a little bit, slide them right over the box, and just slide it in. Now what you see is the box is going to bow a little bit. Uh, so see how it bows a little bit? You can see it bow a little bit here and here. Uh, with this regional box, and this is something I'll test, so I'll test regional uh, versus actual priority mail with another type of box, but I'm going to test my rates. I've had no issues. I've had no customer complaints, um, and granted, this is in a box within a box, so uh, I know that within this, there's a cardboard box, and I've never had any issue shipping this type of product um, in another box. Now, if it was loose or the box was really thin, then I would just eat it and send it priority with one of my own other shipping boxes. So these regional A boxes, based on where I live, there's regional Bs, but they're really high. So I need to find a map of how the A's and B's differ. But for me, the A's are the best. And they're, they range anywhere from six, seven bucks to 10 bucks. And, and they go up to 13, I think, if you go uh, the farthest points. So that was my only sale, 65 bucks today. I dropped off. If you watch earlier, I sold about five, uh, five or six things. Now another thing I want to show you is this. More for the dot on it versus what it's worth. So I got this uh, router, and you can see it has a liquidation pink sticker on it. Well, the sticker tells me. There's probably something wrong with it. Well, you open it. it. Has the plastic, has instructions, has all the cords, uh, has the Ethernet cable, has both antenna, and I've even plugged it in to show you. Powers and everything's fine. So, cosmetically, everything's still there. And it's searching for Wi-Fi, and that's this one, and the power is that one. So it depends. I mean, I've had pink labels where just maybe something's cracked or it really is broken. But other pink labels have been fine. So the liquidation pink label mystery still stands. If I can find it and someone knows it, let me know. Otherwise, until I get it down, um, it's a mystery. Well, that's it for my Saturday. I have someone coming in the morning for a local pickup in my garage, so I'm trying to sell some furniture. I'll try to have some video for you guys tomorrow on that. Thanks for watching, and I'll talk to you tomorrow.